All right, so a few of you have asked, so here we go. A tour of the composting toilet on the ones and twos. Hey, Vern, get out of here. All right, so before we jump into actually how I built it, let's just give you a quick overview. So those of you that just wanna take a quick look, here we go. All right, so the toilet seat lid. This is the most expensive thing that we have here. So once you lift up both of the seat and the lid, you find your funnel. Your funnel goes directly into your catch, which for us is a water, is a lot old water jug. Then you also have to catch your number two. That goes into the Home Depot bucket. The also other expensive thing that we have to, for this build. So once you separate one and two, then you don't really have any smells. Now you always have to cover it up with a little bit of coconut core, sawdust. I've, I've even heard that uh, kitty litter works as well sometimes, but as you know, cat smell, da, da 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 This does not, it does not smell. You cover it up and it does start to compost and you don't have anything to worry about regarding smells. All right. Now, for those of you that are really interested on how I built this thing. So you take your toilet seat and you trace it out on a piece of plyboard, plyboard twice. So then that way, your fully intact one, you come out, you square it out in the back, and then you cut out the hole, the seat hole for the other piece. Then you have to make it really thin inside of here, to be about two inches wide, because we have four two by twos within the toilet. And then we have three one by twos in the toilet as well to hold up this upper lid. So that way you can get your buckets in and out without a problem. Now, this five gallon bucket is really, really snug. Now for most women, it's really hard to have them pee into a funnel. So you're not like dudes. They don't pee the same twice. I don't even think they pee the same way twice ever. But uh, anyway, so those would be some things that I would change. I would probably get an oval seat next time and I would get this rectangle style funnel. Um, and then that way I would carve out the actual uh, Home Depot bucket to fit it a little bit better. But anyway, we went with something that was mobile because sometimes you want to go outside. Sometimes you need a poo with the view, you know? And that way you're not always cramped inside with your toilet. So it's very easy to put back together and make it yourself for sure. You definitely have to empty this pee pretty often. It's only a gallon, so you have to probably empty it once, twice a day. Um, now you try to empty that into a Porter John, another toilet if you can, but honestly, just watering a bush, not a bad deal anyway. Um, number two, you actually really don't go number two in your toilet that often. You try to use whatever means necessary, your Walmarts or Starbucks or whatever, you know? Um, but if you have to, I, we, you know, you, I'd say we empty it pretty often. Uh, we only go in, go in it maybe twice each maybe three times, and then we bag it up and then keep on reusing if we need to. Um, so when we started looking at the composting toilet and how much they were, I was like, oh, I can figure this out. So our toilet cost, what this toilet seat was maybe 30 bucks, and the Home Depot bucket I think is $3, and the funnel is probably five or whatever. So maybe $55 tied up into this build alone. Now, granted, we had plyboard left over and cedar left over from the build in our van. So that way we were able to line it in cedar and uh, reuse a lot of the material that we already had on hand. All right, thanks for watching. A good old tour of the toilet. Good old ones and twos, baby. Um, if you enjoyed it, give it a like. Maybe subscribe. I don't know. All right, peace out. Hopefully see you around.